Uh, Dr. Hasami, tell me a bit about hypothermia. Hypothermia, it's more as it's a heating treatment from the name of it. It's increasing the temperature of the cancer area or of the whole body. And hypothermia here, it's is at a very old treatment that was discovered almost more than 50, 60 years ago, mm. right? And it was at the beginning called oncothermia with when it was related with cancer. And then until now, it's some people call it oncothermia. Or it has the science of oncothermia. Now, the idea behind hypothermia develops into two parts. One is the local hypothermia, which is an extreme high temperature, and it's localized on the cancer area, which means is that we increase the temperature of the cancer between 40 to 45 Celsius. The science has proved that cancer cells cannot survive in a temperature above 40 Celsius. So the local hypothermia can be considered more as an anti-cancer treatment, a direct killing of cancer cells. Second, it's also always, it can be combined with alternative and conventional treatments. For example, in, in Germany, it can be used in hospitals with chemo and radiation in order to decrease the resistance of the cancer towards these treatments, conventional treatments, and improve the outcome of it. An alternative also, it can be used as what we discussed with IPT to make the chemotherapy also penetrate more towards the cancer and decrease the resistance of this cancer to chemotherapy, direct the treatments to the cancer area because when there's an area, for example, is heated, we have a dilated blood vessels. Mm -hmm. That means there's more circulation or more blood is coming to this area. So when we combine it with the treatments, we are trying to deliver also more treatment to the cancer area to, to attack these cancer cells. Side effects of the local hypothermia, usually it's zero. It's just that patients might well feel the heat because it's higher than... Uh, what sort of temperatures? Between 40 to 45. We start first 45. with 40 or 39 degrees Celsius, and then we start every day gradually increasing until we try to reach the 45 or we reach the maximum tolerance rate of the patient, which can be 42, 43, which is still effective against the cancer. The reason is that cancers, when or the healthy cells, when they mutate and they turn into cancer cells, mm. usually the membrane it's made of three layers on a healthy cells. With the cancers, it turns into one layer, and this is what makes it duplicate and multiply very quickly. So, when the, when we are applying the heat, it's not being able to expand as the healthy cells. So this is why it loses its elasticity against heat, and this is what makes it die from local hypothermia. The other part of it is the full body hypothermia, or the other type is the full body hypothermia. Full body hypothermia, it's we are increasing the temperature of the whole body. And it doesn't go so high up to 42 or 45, but it's more between 38 to 39 degree. It's considered more as an immune enhancement treatment, not a cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. Making an artificial fever, which makes enhances the immune system to start producing more cells and healthy cells. So. Usually, the full body hypothermia also has no side effects at all. The patient is exposed to the heat for about one to two hours and then is wrapped in a tent to keep or maintain this temperature for another two hours. So the treatments of the full body hypothermia takes between four to six hours the patient is exposed to this. Local hypothermia, it's more an hour, one hour treatment. It's done every day, the local hypothermia, the full body hypothermia, it's done once or twice a week. Okay. Another uh, physical therapy I've <coughs> seen you have here at Verita Life is the, uh, the massage, the lymphatic yes. massage. How does that tie in with all of this? The lymphatic massage, it's more considered as an, a detox and an immune enhancement. Mm -hmm. The lymphatic system is a part of our immune system. It has the lymphocytes, it's circulating, trying to detox the body and trying to get rid of the waste products as well. By, let's say, aging, by nutrition, by many things, the lymphatic system circulation becomes very slow. So the ability for the body to detox and get rid of these uh, toxins becomes also very low. The lymphatic s massage is more that we are enhancing the circulation of the lymphatic system again in order to uh, uh, circulate again, in, in order to get rid of the toxins and this is it's used with a specific machine which has the two, uh, uh, two probes that is being massaged all over the body. These two probes contains uh, 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 the noble gases, which is the neon, the ozone, the argon, and then the it's going through an electrical charges which stimulating 
the lymphatic system circulation in order to get rid of these toxins. Okay, got it. Thank you.